welcome to the Stage Analysis Weekend video. Um, it's September the 4th, 2022. I'm going to start this weekend's video with a, a little bit of a special feature on a, on a new indicator I've developed to help people with stage analysis. So this is a free indicator that's available on TradingView. Hopefully in time, I might be able to get it on other platforms. But at the moment, this first iteration of it is, is on TradingView, as it was fairly simple to code on there. It's made up of it's this funny looking barcode type pattern at the bottom down here, which may look complicated, but it's very, very simple in its in its actual usage. So basically green is is positive when it's it's made up of 10 different technical attributes to do with the stage analysis method. So we look at um, um, the breakouts and breakdowns. So the top line looks at breakouts and breakdowns. The ninth the eighth the seventh and the sixth lines look at to do with the price and the moving averages how prices compared to the moving averages what the moving averages are doing themselves number five is the mansfield relative strength line and number four and number three are to do with uh, momentum and number two is to do with volume and the bottom line is to do with overhead resistance so all of those different attributes combined help give us a technical rating of zero to 10. So basically when a, giving it a score, when, when a block, when one of the squares is green, it gets a score of, of one. And when a block is red or blue, which is neutral, it gets a score of zero. So basically all you need to do is count the green blocks and visually you can see it. You don't really, doesn't need a lot of counting. Basically, Stage two breakouts and stage four breakdowns happen with the top line highlights the breakouts and the breakdowns. So if you don't have the top line active, then it's probably not actually on a, a stage four or a stage two breakout week. So, but obviously if it's strong, you can see these areas down here where it's green, it's obviously continuing to make new highs there before it's actually made a new breakout from a from another base of sorts. So Starting off, when you've got a, a stock like Fastly, for example, here, and it has an IPO base, a lot of the initial values will be neutral because the indicators haven't had time to develop yet. But then once the indicators start kicking in, see we, our 30 week moving average starts here and then start to they start to change and adapt you obviously start to get the green and the red blocks you can adapt this so it doesn't have to be quite so vivid on your screen you can obviously change the settings you can change the positive color to whatever you want you can't use opacity so if you want to change it to something more muted then use the um the plus symbol and then go down and change it to a, a lower value a tint value you can also change what it compares against so the mansfield relative strength for example compares against the s p 500 that's a universal um thing with the mansfield relative strength line but if you for example are using this with crypto you might want to compare it against bitcoin or using it with the indian market you want to do against the nifty 50 etc whatever you want to use it with like in the uk against the FTSE 100 or two FTSE 350 for example just it you can you can edit that in there there's also this first line neutral color so basically if you want the first line breakouts to be blue as well you could see so it matches the rest you could obviously do do that and then that will make that first line that'll make that first line blue as well but i prefer to visually see that that breakout on the chart so as you can see here when it's when that first line is white it really highlights the breakout on that first line it just pops in front of you so even if you've got a strong block and it's already on a night a score of nine or a score of zero so when they're all red it would be on a, a score of zero for example so for example if we go back to to fastly here so you can see the stage two breakout week here so this is our our stage two breakout area like that. and then if you see down on the actual chart here you can see that was actually marked with a week where it got a score of nine so nine of these green squares are are, are basically active the the blue line at the bottom here which is the overhead resistance as i said might not yet be fully developed at that point as it takes a little while to kick in that one so nine that's like a that's a full that's a full board on that one so with stage two breakouts you tend to tend to get a score of nine or 10 on the indicator with a stage four breakdown you tend to have a score of one or zero so for example so that's the stage two breakout week there you can see as you go through time here so if i scroll it back through here we've got our our stage two breakout week for example there you can see the the indicator has turned 
fully green almost, except for that, the blue at the bottom there. So it's moving up. We've still got a score of nine going through. So stage two tends to be in a range of around six to ten. So you get 10 on a continuation breakout week sometimes, or a nine or an eight. So you can see at the moment it's now drifted off. We're now dropping down to, we've got eight now, no, seven to an eight. And then we're starting to see these little red, red squares starting to appear. So starting to get a little bit more shaky coming into it now. And then as you start to get a change of behavior, you see more red blocks appearing. This one, you see we've now got only a score of three at this point in here. So the week before, when we had this big change of behavior, it started reversed, big double top week here. You can see the score dropped down to one, two, three, four, five. So we went from a score of, what are we on there, an eight to a five within the course of a week there. And you can see we'd already started to get a little bit of actual negativity coming in as it was starting to consolidate in here so at this point here it would start to normally with a big bar significant bar like that that would alert you anyway to a potential change of behavior but you can see from the technical attributes it's giving you a another way to actually see that as well you can see it starts we start to get more negativity creeping in in that bar down the bottom and then even a, a breakdown as well below the low of this this range that are developed here so a bit, bit of an early breakdown there the 30 week moving average is still rising so you can see as this goes through continues back up again you see the negativity it starts to attempt to break back out again we go to a full 10 again here but then that negativity comes back in again and we get the, a good breakdown again in this area so fastly obviously a good example of how to use it you've got a full stack breakdown there into a full stage four now with with a score of zero so if i scroll this ground i'll show you a couple of other examples um shop so you can see here stage four breakdown week you can see it had a score of of zero down here so this is your, your stage four breakdown week all red I'll highlight that up into the chart. You can see mental relative strength it's breaking lower lows in here. 30 week moving average starting to roll over, started to break multiple levels in here. Hadn't yet cleared, completely cleared resistance from prior lows and bases, but it had broken below multiple months of moving in here and started to move off into, into stage four. Same as a, a stage two continuation area down here. So you can see this breakout week here. So if I highlight that, and you can see in here we're starting to get a starting to get a move through here as it starts to come come through into early stage two and then follows through you can see how the indicator stays green through the majority of this stage two advance through here and then we start to get some red and blue creeping in more as it starts to pull over again it starts to get a lot more negative in this area in here but then did manage to make a further continuation break we had the shakeout in 2020 march 2020 with the covid lows but did manage to continue on into stage two so you can see for the vast majority of these times it was fully green with the occasional neutral and negative popping in but when you're in stage four it's basically the vast majority of the the panel will be red and when you're in stage two the vast majority of the panel will be green is that simple really so I'll just show you one more example chewy for example here so again stage two breakout week was here 23rd of march week as it starts to move out then had a strong stage two you can see the majority of the stage two in here was in the in this green zone got the odd red and blue popping in but the vast majority of the time the technical attributes were strong we've got this big change of behavior week here so if we pull this down into here you can see that it starts to we're starting to get the the reds creeping in the technical attributes are starting to worsen we've got an early stage four breakdown attempt in here and see it actually went fairly negative in there we had a score of one at that point but this was a failed stage four breakdown attempt and rallied back up again some green started to appear again got back all the way back up to a score of a nine on the, the again a failed breakout attempt at the top of the range reversed back in again so shook out and came back in and then we got the stage four breakdown week here so you can see this move here it starts to move off into stage four at this point in here so you could argue these points if you're looking on the dailies probably going into stage four around this area here but from a, a pure breakdown perspective on the weekly chart that was a much that's a much cleaner area so you can see how you could potentially use the tool as i said you've got your stage two stage two breakout week here coming in you've got that, that breakout bar there 
So if you look for basically as much green as possible on a stage to break out as much red as possible on the stage for breakdown again this week here we had another failed stage two attempt on this week it attempted to to move out into stage two but it was on a it was on a score of a nine but then failed at this point and has come back into the range so this is now broadening out the stage one base at the moment so obviously a lot of early attempts to move out into stage two fail and form an upthrust we still had resistance at this point in here so the tool can't it's not a predictive tool it's just telling you what the technical attributes are at the time you still obviously got to manage your risk properly but it can help you visually to identify the stages so i hope that helps you understand it a little bit better i recommend trying it out so i've for example using a, a multiple time frame approach so this is tan so the, the point of the tool is to be used on a weekly chart in order to help identify the stages. So for example, with TAN here, which is the solar ETF, you can see the, the stage two breakout week here that happened. So pull this down here. You can see it was on a score of a nine on the on the SATA rating here. You can see the relative strength is above the zero line, making new highs. We've got a strong, as I said, we've got a score of a nine down here. So stage two breakout attempt. You can see it stayed on green practically throughout since it's pulled back it's now within the backup range at the moment so it's our our stage two breakout we're in the we're in the backup range at the moment so if it does start breaking back down there we'll start to get some more reds and blues starting to appearing here again but at the moment it's still above these short-term mas and obviously the moving averages are rising etc so at the moment we're in a in a green phase we're in a we're on a score of a nine with the the leading group which is the renewable energy group at the moment so it is in early stage two but it could obviously fail and start to fall back into the range again but the tool as you can see is showing that at the moment that's in early stage two so again as i said you don't you don't need that i i obviously don't need it myself i've been doing stage analysis for over 12 years now so i don't visually need it but i think like for people actually learning the method and for when you're quickly scanning it can give you it can give you an idea of what's going on as you don't need to sit there and say is is the 30 week moving average rising is the 10 week moving average rising is price above the 10 week moving average is it below the 10 week moving average are we above 200 day moving average are we above resistance like all those kind of things the tool looks at and can tell you straight away just in a quick visual score basically without you having to to go for all of those so when you're doing quick scanning it could obviously be a, a good speed tool but when you obviously want to get more in depth then then obviously it's going to be much less necessary but as i said for quick scanning that's it i think it would be very very useful and and it's it's so simple to use so i know some people have said it it looks far too complicated but i think they're just they're, they're overthinking it green is good red is bad it's is that simple really so and once you start to get some different colors starting to appear then you're potentially in a in a basing phase so you're either in stage one or stage stage three so it's pretty clear how to use it i think so hopefully you'll test it out over the time and give me your feedback and see how you're using it i don't know how it will work on lower time frames like i said it's designed for the higher time frames it's designed for the weekly so this is a recommended um this is how i look at charts generally i look at the weekly the so the weekly here the daily and the two hour time frame so you can use other time frames intraday so for example the 78 minute time frame oh, done the wrong one so you can see the bar will still work with that like whatever time frame you're on so 195 for example you can see it, it will work just the same as it does on the weekly but as i said i designed it for the weekly so in terms of identifying the stages obviously that's what it's for so if you can find uses for it on other time frames then obviously let me know but like i said it's it's designed for the weekly so i only think you need to show it on the weekly when you're using it as obviously it would clutter up your screen a bit if you did start using it on multiple time frames on the same screen so but as i said there might be some uses all right okay let's move on